In this video, we'll see how you can create a document management system using SharePoint and MacroView. The system will have the functionality of a traditional document management system, but with the advantage of being based in Microsoft SharePoint. We'll see how MacroView provides a great experience for users who are managing documents stored in SharePoint. A document management system must have excellent integration with Microsoft Office. Let's start by seeing it work in Microsoft Outlook. On the right hand side of Outlook we see a new macro view pane. This pane in browse mode displays all the areas in SharePoint for which we've got permission. We can see areas in SharePoint online and also all the areas for which we've got permission in on-premises SharePoint server. Let's expand one of those areas for Acme Limited. The macro view pane provides a complete and accurate tree view of the structure of our on-premises SharePoint store. If we click on one of the areas in that store, for example this uh, document set for Amy Ang, we see the documents that are already stored in that area of SharePoint. This is the student documents view. We can see other views of that same area, for example the emails view. When you click on a particular file, such as this gas bill, we see a formatted preview. We can see that this email contains a PDF attachment. Going back to the student documents view, we can get a formatted preview of Word documents, PDFs, and most kinds of files. This student documents view displays the unique document ID, which has been assigned as each document is stored in SharePoint. It also displays the current version number for each document. When you click a column heading, the files are sorted in the order of that column, initially in descending order, when you click again in ascending order. You can filter to find files whose names contain a particular word or phrase, for example files whose names contain DMF. If you right click on a file you see a rich right click menu. If we uh, select this Word document and right click and choose open, the Word document is retrieved from SharePoint and opened in Microsoft Word. The caption of the Word session shows the unique ID and the current version number, and this information is also automatically displayed in the footer of the newly opened document. Later we'll see how the MacroView software automatically updates the version number in the footer so that it is always accurate. If we go to the Emails view and right click on an existing email that's stored in our SharePoint area and choose Open, the email is retrieved from SharePoint and opened back in Outlook. The email and its attachment are no different from when they were first stored to SharePoint. If we go to the area for uh, Amy Yang and expand it, we can see that it contains some folders. The documents can be stored in these folders to help organize them. Here is an email folder containing the emails that have been stored for Amy Yang. Let's go back to our inbox and save an additional email. For example, this one from Elaine. We drag and drop to the email folder and the email is then automatically saved to the Amy Ang area. If we click on the email folder and sort by modified date, here is our newly stored email. It's been assigned document ID ending in 22. The MSG file that was created to store the new email has been automatically named by MacroView in order to prevent duplicate copies, no matter how many other recipients were to attempt to save that same email to this area. If we go to the emails view, in addition to a formatted preview, we can see the metadata that has been automatically recorded as that email was saved. The from Elaine to Noel Williams, and here is the subject of the email. If we go back into our inbox, this time we can save a Word document attachment, which we can also do by dragging and dropping. We'll drag and drop it to the assignment folder. MacroView is prompting us for metadata as defined in this area of SharePoint. Because we dropped on the assignment folder, the name assignment is being shown as the default value for document type. The user's identity is also shown as the default value for this person or group column called author. This automatic metadata recording minimizes the user effort associated with saving a document. If we click on our assignment folder, and so, again, sort by modified, here is our newly saved DOCX attachment. It's been assigned the document ID ending in 23. If we go to the student documents view, we can see the metadata that's been recorded as the document was saved, which is author Noel Williams and document type assignment.
If appropriate, these metadata attributes can be made mandatory. This red asterisk indicates that document type must be supplied. The valid values for document type can also be based on a central term set so that a tree of valid values, such as this one, is uh, defined in a central SharePoint location. The Mac review also allows emails to be saved in bulk. When you click the hide button, the save proceeds in the background so that you can continue working in Outlook. In addition, MacReview can automatically file incoming and outgoing emails to SharePoint using corporate email filing rules. See the separate video for this. The MacReview software enables rapid navigation of the SharePoint document store. If we right click and use search site tree, we can find any area within the store whose name contains the word proposal. This Acme proposal folder looks interesting. Let's click it and click OK. Mac Review will then automatically navigate us to that area so that we can see the documents and emails that are stored there. Another way to speed navigation is to add an area as a favorite. Let's make the area for Amy Eng one of our favorites. We can do that by right clicking and choosing Add to Favorites. Each user can have his or her own groups of favorites. I'm going to add the new Amy Eng favorite to the My Matters group. When I switch the Mac Review pane to the Favorites mode, the Amy Yang Favorite area is now easily navigable. I can drag and drop additional emails to it or see the different views of that area. From a user point of view, one of the best features of Mac Review is the way it enables convenient and intuitive searching for documents stored in SharePoint. You can do this by switching the Mac Review pane into Search mode. Let's use the keyword search panel to find any document in our SharePoint uh, on-premises server that contains the word smart. Turns out that there are 203 such documents. I can page through them 50 at a time, or alternatively, I can restrict the search to find only PDFs. The search is being performed by the SharePoint search engine, but MacReview lets me perform that search without needing to leave Outlook. I can also do email searches. Let's find all emails where the automatically recorded to attribute contains Angela. Looks like 155 emails satisfy our email search uh, criteria. If we were to select one of those emails, we can get a formatted preview. We can also rearrange our search results so that the most recent files are stored at the top. And if I right click on one of those results, I can choose open file location, which will jump me to the area in SharePoint where that uh, email is actually stored, which is the email folder within the Amy Yang area uh, within the uh, student's library. If I right click on an area and choose search this location, the MacReview search scope will be restricted to just that area. Let's do our search for uh, emails to Angela again. Our search has been restricted to the operations area, so we have a much smaller list of results. This MacReview search also can be customized, for example, this uh, student document search enables us to search using the metadata that was recorded automatically as we saved our documents and emails, or for which we were prompted as we saved. We've worked extensively in Microsoft Outlook, but MacReview also lets us work in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and in Adobe. A separate video will show us how MacReview enables working in Word with the same functionality as we would have in a traditional document management system. Well, during this video, we've seen how the MacReview software enables the creation of document management solutions based on SharePoint, but with the functionality of a traditional DM system. MacReview enables excellent integration with Microsoft Office, particularly with Outlook. It makes it easy to view the structure of a SharePoint document store and to navigate that document store rapidly. MacReview provides excellent support for drag and drop saves, and for automatic metadata recording as the saves occur. MacReview enables convenient and intuitive searching for documents and emails based on their content and metadata. We've also seen how MacReview enables document numbering, which is the same as the numbering you see in a traditional system. MacReview enables excellent version control. MacReview respects permissions as defined in SharePoint and makes it easy to define permissions at the individual document level. With MacReview, you can have one-click integration between line of business systems and the document store in SharePoint. Finally, MacReview facilitates deployment of the document management solution to different users, 
and also the provisioning of new areas so that the design of the document solution is retained. For more information about the MacReview solutions for managing documents in SharePoint, contact MacReview using these details.